morning guys, Thursday the 24th of September. Definitely a uh, much more autumnal feel this morning, cooler, cloudier, slightly more wind. And that's not from me. <laughs> uh. Just really said hello to a couple of people who just walk past with their dog. You know the sort that you don't really know, but you, you sort of see if you walk to the same places. Um, so yeah, just thought then when I was on about, oh, a bit windy, but not from me, ha ha. And then um, mentioned about, you know, saying hello as I walk past. Even though it's only a small connection. And then, well, um, just thinking about humour, connecting with others. Um, I think a time where, you know, things can be challenging, it can be getting tiring. Um, a sense from people of, oh, you know, what now with some restrictions and so on, um, level of unknown uncertainty. Um, I was reading, was it yesterday, somebody was, they called it something, I can't that name now, six months or something or other. It was basically saying that when people are in a, like a crisis, um, and they really, you know, it's an ongoing thing that, um, they were saying there was some, I don't know, phenomenon where six months, or, oh no, that's it, they were talking about when you're really having to push through as well, they were, they were talking about um, doing things like long, distant, I don't know, sort of extreme activities and marathons and stuff, and basically they were saying after about six months of planned preparation, Perseverance, there's about a three week um, period of time where it can feel really quite low and difficult and challenging and people can feel like they you know, they haven't got the energy or they want to give up or they haven't got the creativity. Um, and I suppose, you know, also coincides at the moment with the the season change as well so yeah I think humour and uh, continuing to connect with others um, is really important and quite key um, to keeping people going um, I think that's what they say as well you know that in, Challenging difficult times. Um, comedy, the use of comedy, comedians, you know, um, comedy programs and so on can really be not only uplifting but a bit of a release as well. I think continuing something in your routine it might not be everything you've been doing, but even if you just decide on well, it could be one new thing actually as a routine, or it could be something you've been doing. Um, just choose that one thing and stick to it. Um, so remember at the <clears throat> beginning of the. Um, pandemic piece about trying to create some routine, something consistent, familiar was quite important as well. Also, really loved um, family members' post yesterday. They were talking about experiencing grief sort of lots and lots of years later after their initial um, loss yeah 
she was saying even after what 18 years that you know struck her she realised she really needed some um, grief counselling which she did look at a number of months ago um, I just think be mindful be aware of that as well actually I think um, and I said myself when you're in um, a sort of restricted limited situation sometimes you question a lot of things you end up being um, with yourself your own thought process a bit more that's not such a bad thing um, but I just think it can also um, <clears throat> start to bring up thoughts and challenges and questions in relation to loss I think it's just important to to be mindful of that really um, yeah and what I really loved was she amongst that post she said um, something about you know sort of check in with a strong friend you know the one who the one goes oh yeah they're strong they can do it they don't you know they're there for everyone else I don't really need, you know, you to see if they're all right. But actually, that is totally untrue. Um, it's just a perception. So I just like the fact that she was making particular reference to, you know, make sure you just have that, make that contact with that person who everyone else sees as they find they're okay and get on with it. as well I'm one of um, from the courageous coaching group Rosie had also put up yesterday about um, <coughs> you know celebrating the things over the last six months or so that you know give yourself affirmation and credit for um it's important to do that at times that can be quite challenging um, and also to remind ourselves that we we are can be resilient and still learn new things because I'd learned how to use and um, put deliver a course online on Zoom and yes I had been using it uh, quite regular with of a um, client calls as well so I did get used to it because I was using it quite a lot whereas at the moment with some of the other courses maybe delivering online through some of the college work they wanted us to use teams more and that's something that I don't I haven't, don't really you know I'm not that familiar with in terms of how to work with that now I know that as you know part of me Almost goes, oh gosh, no, you know, I, I just feel a little bit, creates a slight anxiety internally actually to be thinking, oh, you know, I've got to get my head around right something else. Um, and I suppose also because, you know, I've got other um, changes going on and move and so forth, um, to some degree, it's like, you know, you don't want too many other new things you've got to get your head around. So I do have a moment of, oh, and it, you know, it hasn't said right now, but obviously we're going to have to spend time getting our heads around it. And then it's useful to remind myself that I success, you know, relatively successfully um, learned how to use Zoom and deliver the course. Um, so if I did that, um, you know, there's nothing to say I can't do the same again with another platform um, yeah I think it's important to me to remind myself of that because otherwise 
kind of, my head could go into a bit of a, oh, do you know what? I don't know whether I can <laughs> do this as well. It's just oh, another new thing to get my head round. Um, but yeah, so reminding myself. Um, and then that sort of connects, I need to keep reminding myself actually as well, to connect that with the fact that what I also felt I gained and took from um, certainly the last six months or so was being kinder and easier on myself. If that's the case, then I need to try and be that little bit easier about give myself time to get my head to head round stuff um, and knowing it'll take time to learn this stuff. It's, you know. And also, some people learn things quicker than others. So I think accepting that and not, you know, feeling a bit, ooh, annoyed or beating yourself up or, yeah, feeling frustrated because maybe it appears other people seem to be able to get the head around something a lot quicker. I'm going to have to think about doing some consistency enjoyable. I think I need to think about that one because the doing the post-its in the jars was really... It, it, I really enjoyed that. It was, you know, thinking of something inspirational and creative. Um, it was also a lovely thought that at some point, you know, people would be given those and, yeah, they'd have those to keep, to read, to be hopefully inspired by and that was a lovely thought I think I just need to sort of think about what I'm going to do perhaps in that respect or something connected in that way anyway so new new thoughts, new ideas, new possibilities but also just be mindful of what needs to stay and remain um keep the humour, keep connecting with others, um, keep at least one consistent um, daily action, um, keep being kind to myself when having to get my head around and learn um, new stuff, give myself time. So guys, have the rest of a tutti frutti um, tantalising Thursday and uh, I shall speak to you later guys. Take care, bye.